Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka Be Rich Beauty, aka your beauty best friend. Happy Wednesday, y'all! Y'all following this Johnny Depp Amber Heard drama? Black China wants a redo on the stand, and Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox over here swapping all types of things, y'all. We're talking about that and a lot more. You know what to do. Grab your tea, grab your beverage. Let go! <laughs> sugar how y'all doing out there most importantly how is the week treating you guys we're halfway there i can already see the weekend inside can you see it because i can see it what y'all got planned for this wednesday and are y'all ready to tiptoe on into friday and into the weekend i don't know about y'all but i don't know the spirit of last minuteness has been covered all over me like recently and it like it's my cup runneth over in last minuteness. I bought a last minute ticket to go to the desert this weekend to hang out with some friends. So I'm going to be in Palm Springs this weekend. By the way, I have never been to Palm Springs before, so excited. And now, in addition to getting into these pants for next month, well, in May, because it's right around the corner for this birthday party, I now need to be super like 10 pounds slimmer in like 48 hours. So wish me luck as I go ahead and start to consult my diet of Tic Tac, cheese, Jesus, and yoga, minus the yoga, the Tic Tac, and the cheese, just the Jesus, okay? <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all got planned for this hump day and or this upcoming weekend as it's fastly and quickly approaching. But in the meantime, are y'all ready to get into these hot topics? Baby, it is hot today with these topics and let's just jump right on in. So for those that may not know, Johnny Depp, AKA Jack Sparrow, is suing his ex-wife Amber Heard in a defamation lawsuit. So apparently Amber published an op-ed piece and in their op-ed, she discussed being a victim of domestic violence. Now she didn't explicitly call out Johnny Depp's name in this um, op-ed, but the way it was written, it kind of pretty much insinuates that she was referring to Johnny Depp as being the abuser and she was the victim of the abuse. Well, baby, I I have thoughts about this. And I think I'm going to have to take y'all down the rabbit hole so y'all can try to understand where I'm coming from. Because this trial, these testimonies from Johnny Depp and these witnesses, it, it's, it's crazy. This is almost like a, a hashtag borderline true crime special slash courtroom TV slash lifetime movie. And all of it can then go to Hulu afterwards. It has given me all of that and a bucket of chicken and more honey. And uh, or I should say a bucket of popcorn because I'm just now consuming this left and right. Now, here's what my initial thoughts as it relates to Amber Heard, though. But before we get started, let me tell you a few things, okay? Domestic violence is a real thing and I'm not diminishing it at all. And I also realize domestic violence does not discriminate based off of gender. You, you could be male or female and still be at the hands of abuse of your partner here. It is when the abuse seems to no longer be factual that I have issues with it. And this is what we're seeing by the testimonies that we're hearing and the evidence that they're, that they're presenting to prove that Amber is, is saying one thing but her actions are saying something else because there's now evidence of her on tape and all types of things that Johnny and his team has presented even down to and we'll talk about it even down to a cosmetic company refuting her claims about a product that they made so all that to be said because I wanted to give you all a disclaimer here I am not a, a, a advocate of domestic violence at all in fact if you are at the, or if you are currently being abused please seek help however you can because the issue is real right now, here's my thing about Amber Heard from what I've observed in all of this. Amber is the most dangerous version of a Karen that can exist. And here's why. She's a privileged white woman living in America, which, by the way, is the same America that was built around the fragility of a white woman's tears. So to me, her behavior that we're seeing is classic textbook victim mentality. The same victim mentality, by the way, that has has caused to the crucifixion and the killing of black people and black bodies over the years. This time around, she's taken this victim mentality and she just happened to choose white on white violence in this case. So then let's talk about the attributes that we're seeing here, right? 
obviously through the years, we've seen storytelling skills combined with, you know, the thinly veiled, breathy testimony. And then you finish it off with crocodile tears. We've seen all of these same types of attributes lead to strange fruit hanging off the trees in the South because of women like Amber and the behavior that she's displaying right now during this defamation trial. Which, by the way, she's also countersuing Johnny Depp, if y'all didn't know. So you take all these classic Karen attributes, and now you apply it to Amber Heard, the fact that she's doing all this in a courtroom, and also the fact that she is a storyteller in and of herself. She, just like Johnny Depp, are both actors, which she gets paid millions to do to tell us a story for us to consume it and believe it. Hell, I thought, I, I firmly believe she was a mermaid warrior and Aquaman. Like, that is her job is to sell the story. But what makes this really, really sad and really, really interesting is as this has continued to unfold, Johnny Depp is really coming across as the true victim here. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, abuse, it, it, it does not discriminate on gender alone, but it's the fact that she is really, Amber is putting all of her energy to destroy and discredit Johnny Depp. And if it wasn't for what seems to be Johnny Depp's silver lining and saving grace by having taped audio, photo documentations, and all of these other things, it could seem as if Amber could get away with it. And here's the reason why I say that. If you guys have been following this, there was a testimony where, you know, Amber could be heard on tape saying that, you know, she did not punch him. It was just a hit. So she admitted to, you know, physically assaulting him, but then said, even if you tried to go public, nobody would believe you because you're big old Johnny Depp and I'm Amber Heard and who would believe you over me? Again, that same type of fragility white women tears and fear the same type of he's attacking me in Central Park Karen attitude the same type of he assaulted me and Mississippi burning happened is the same classic example that we've seen through the history of this country except again it has just happened on the reverse end I, again I'm so shocked that we're seeing all of this even play out not only because of the celebrity stylists but because again it is white on white crime just happening in the courtroom Amber even went on to say that she had to carry a specific color correcting wheel by Milani Cosmetics in her purse at all times because Johnny was abusing her so much in case she ever had to cover up a bruise she had to have that in her purse in order to do any type of um, spot covering well Milani said sis the, the test results say that you are a lie. They say that that color correcting wheel did not come out until 2017 until after her and Johnny Depp's marriage was over. So again, we see examples of her doubling down on a narrative and a lie, which the same type of doubling down on a narrative and storytelling skill um, when it's not even true, we've seen happen a la Emmett Till. So at this point, what happens to Johnny Depp? Because Johnny just got on the stand the other day and said that, you know, I did not know he was really rocking a whole pirate. When art imitates life or life imitates art, he had a whole pirate hand situation going on. Because apparently Amber and one of her rages and fits, he said, hit him over the head with the large vodka bottle, the one with the handle. And at the result of him being hit over the head with the vodka bottle, it severed the tip of one of his fingers. So he was out here really pirating around, missing a finger off of his hand. Arg, okay? And the fact that he said he had to call his doctor and the property manager or over to the house so they can try to find this missing severed tip of a finger that then had to be surgically sewn back on utilizing metal pins and rods goes to the story of the domestic abuse which and by the way a classic example of somebody who's a victim of domestic abuse he had to say to the hospital that it happened because he closed his door in accordion so now he's lying how he's been injured and he also had a cigarette burn. he said that Amber put out a cigarette in his cheek and that he had to go to a, a surgeon once a week to make sure it it healed and did not get affected baby I this again, is so multi-tiered here, it's crazy because 
Oh, 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 not to mention they said that they had to use CGI on his finger while he was filming Pirates of the Caribbean to hide the Band-Aid from his surgically um, restitched finger. Are y'all keeping up with me here? Like, who is certifying Amber Heard? And again, all of this is testimony. Like, nobody's found guilty here. So uh, these are my opinions and my opinions only as I'm observing this and digesting this information. But Johnny Depp was in deep over his head, married to her. And so now people are saying, I, I forgot to do my makeup. Let me do my, let me put my eyebrows on real quick. So now the people are saying like psychologists and doctors is that Amber may suffer from, you know, like a, some kind of personality disorder. You don't say, cause nothing about her behavior sounds stable. And when y'all listen to these tapes and hear how she is wilding out, she does not sound rational. That's the same type of behavior that comes from somebody who may have a mental illness and or somebody who's just on, you know, what they say, a whole hell of a lot of drugs. Who knows? But as we do know is Johnny Depp has admitted to being a recovering, you know, uh, sobriety. He's had issues with uh, drug and, uh, drugs and alcohol in the past. And he even said dealing with that relationship that night that his finger got severed, he had to take a shot. He had to take a few shots because he was lo he locked himself in the bathroom because Amber was in one of her rages. So let's wrap all of this up because I know this is a lot. I hope that through all of this, if Amber is guilty and she is truly the abuser here, she gets help. They sentence her. They do whatever. Like mama needs to be put in a time out. Johnny clearly looks like he still needs some form of therapy, honey, to get over this trauma. But what is going to happen to Johnny Depp at the end of this? And what is supposed to happen as a result of this case? Because again, he's suing her for defamation because he's saying because of this op-ed, it has impacted his ability to work. Because again, I think people weren't booking in the same way. And, you know, Amber is out here living her best life, getting ready for Aquaman 2 and all. So what is now going to happen? Will he win a settlement against her? Will she be, you know, will she get locked up for abuse? Or will Hollywood try to censor her or put her in the corner and time out because her behavior is just that toxic and disruptive. But again, I just want us to peel back these issues here that we're seeing with these, these attributes and how they're historically rooted. Because as I was reading all of this, as I was seeing all this play out, I could not help but feel my ancestors say, this happened to us over and over and over again because again this country was not set up to be a, 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 a an advocate for black and brown people but it was whoo let's grab a sip of tea and let's move on are y'all familiar with a machine gun kelly and a megan fox chow barely but i had to talk about it because it's one of the trending news right now and it's kind of odd. So Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox are a couple, but they're saying that a, as a part of their couple um, situation ships that they drink each other's blood. Excuse me now. You know, I know the phrase flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone, you know, all of that. And, you know, two becoming one when you get married. But I didn't think they meant it literally by drinking each other's blood. So they're saying that, you know, they consume drops of each other's blood as a form of rituals and that they don't drink like goblets of it a la Game of Thrones, but they do consume each other's blood on special occasions. What type of rituals, angels and demons, Da Vinci Code type of issues going on over there, Mr. Mr. Gun Kelly and Miss, Miss Megan Fox? Like, what is y'all doing over there making some pack with somebody who shall not be named on this video today? I'm trying to figure out what is the benefit of drinking your spouse's or your partner's blood here. By the way, for all y'all that's don't get no crazy ideas. The doctors are saying it is not okay. It's not right. It is not okay to drink each other's blood and it's not safe. So don't be following up behind this machine gun Kelly. I felt like I want to do a little more mascara. Y'all bear with me. Don't be following up behind the machine gun Kelly and the Megan Foxes over here drip dripping and drink drinking each other's blood like they're about to do some kind of sacrifice for Prometheus or somebody. But I just wanted to share that to y'all because I, I don't, was that not weird? It weirded me out. I was like, mm, y'all ain't nothing better to do with y'all time. I guess the, the lifestyle of the rich and 
nasty, honey. <laughs> Let's move on. Well, you know we can't get out of here today without our latest courtroom TV update. <laughs> Another trial. We're going back down to the Black China and the Kardashian trial, y'all. So now the update is the Kardashian's lawyers are asking the judge to dismiss Black China's case and claim and everything because of lack of evidence. They're saying that she can't provide her tax information. They're saying that obviously she admitted to not filing taxes for the last three years. They're saying that she told her accountant to stop filing her 2019 taxes. They're saying that she can't produce any type of documentation, quoting or identifying how much money she's lost because the show which Robin China was canceled, that she's accusing the Kardashians of canceling. They're saying none of these things she's able to produce, so please judge dismiss the lawsuit. So now China's lawyers are saying, well, whoa, 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 judge, can she get a redo and a do over on the stand because she did not properly get a chance to testify because when she got up there during and the, started the cross examinations, she got thrown off her game when they showed her the revenge porn nude photos um, and it threw her off. It made her emotionally unstable and she was not able to finish her testimony properly despite getting a break. Now, I got questions, China. Seeing naked pictures of you in a courtroom threw you off your testimony game. And I'm not asking because I'm judging, because I'm asking because I have real questions here. Ma'am has a whole OnlyFans page where she makes millions of dollars from, meaning that anybody, if they wanted to, in that courtroom hallway or down the, down the hall in the bathroom, could have signed up, subscribed. They could have seen your T, your A, and your cheeks laying it low and spreading it wide, spreading open to the people in the American Airlines sky, looking down to be able to see everything that's going on down there on your OnlyFans page, girl. So you're now getting modest? Because people showed your pitch, your nude photos in a courtroom? Says, I don't understand. And by the way, y'all know I only speak law and order, SVU, and a little bit of criminal intent. Can you even do redos and, re and do-overs on the stand just because you messed your testimony up the first time? I feel like that's not how that works. So we shall see how this played out. I feel like they should have probably given a different type of defense if they wanted to get her back on the stand instead of her being rattled because she saw nude photos of herself um, in the courtroom when she's literally charging a cheek a minute or a cheek a month or whatever that OnlyFans subscription works itself out to be. And on that note, guys, I gotta go. You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave me a comment. Most importantly, check the notifications and make sure they're turned on so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic sugar. And share this video with one of your Judys today. Let's spread some love and light and laughter in this world and a little bit of gossip. Who loves you? <laughs> I do. See you on Friday. Bye, guys.